In life, when you're born, yeah. you you supposedly know nothing, mm. and you get exposed to the world, and then the world plants a vision for you and a trajectory for your journey. Yeah. You almost get given a GPS location, primary school, high school, that you're supposed to follow probably for the rest of your life. Yes. Part of it is what you're going to study, where you're going to work, what business you're going to start, what career you're going to go into, the type of chick you're going to marry, your kids, how much money you're going to have, uh, all the way to death. Mm. And at some point, we buy into that vision. Like, we actually believe in it. Like, I'm meant to be a musician. I'm meant to be a sports star. I'm supposed to go and become an accountant or a lawyer. Mm. And somewhere along the way, something unfortunate happens. Fail adversity, your business crashes, the love of your life dumps you or dies, your kids die, you're broke. Something unfortunate happens and for most people, and almost all people, when that thing happens, it fucks up the person's entire psyche. Mm. And they end up spending the rest of their life almost trying to go back to where the shit went bad and try and fix it so they can move forward. And they end up wasting so much time and energy and resources trying to get back to that point. Mm. Instead of accepting that the GPS has rerouted my destination, I now need to move in a new direction. Yeah. You know, uh, and I was saying it, it feels like because going back to like these musicians, mm. OTR Gas, Naposkara Camp, I feel like Amachita had an idea of what they wanted to achieve, and because they didn't achieve it, I think their brain just crashes. And instead of saying, Let me join a new group, let me start again. I think the devastation is so serious. Like, I look at soccer players, Pedro. their career ends, and Umchita, out of all the things he chooses to do, he chooses to be addicted to alcohol, no pillet mm. He could go coach, yes, he could yeah. go ref, yeah, I get you. he could go, mm. but he, they, they almost choose like the worst thing they can do, and they almost hide from the world because the trajectory they were meant to be on that was implanted in their brain from a young age. Mm. they've almost failed mm. and obviously when you hit that crash the trauma leads to depression and all these things and you know when I was speaking to Mam Sifeta I ended up obviously giving her examples of people close to me that she knows yeah. where I'm like this guy was supposed to be this this guy was supposed to be this this guy if you look at their lives now they are much they are floating because mm. they, they stuck they're like this is what was supposed to happen and now they're stuck and when you look at how long they've been stuck for it's been 10 years mm. Umchita was supposed to be a springbok at, and his rugby career fucked out at age 20, 20 22. Niggas 34. That's 12 years later and he still talks about, yeah, the thing about rugby and you're like, dog, you're stuck in a loop. 12 years you're stuck in this loop and your brain hasn't been able to transition. Because in your head, as much as you're 34, you're still like, I should have been a springbok, I should be a springbok. And you've never let go. You know, yeah. some it happens with school. I'm going to pass this girl and you fail like second year. And then for the rest of your life, you're haunted. But you don't say, look, let me pull this. Let me try that. Mm. You decide, fuck my whole life. Let me drink. Let me lurk at home. Let me hide. Oh, and people are high, dog. And... Yeah, that's true. So, so these guys don't understand business. Uh, the musicians, and they don't understand the concept of pivoting. When something fails, you're supposed to go to something else. I have huge respect for people that can do that naturally. Mm. And I think it's something we're meant to be like trained to do. You must understand, as a much that no one in our whole lives, no one, trains us to understand and accept that woman will leave you, woman will cheat on you, mm. woman will, a, a chick you loved, will love someone else. Will, no one teaches us that. And when we see it, it feels like the greatest betrayal. 
It feels like the greatest betrayal by everyone. Specifically the chick, because that's the person you can take it out of. Mm. But it feels like everyone lied to you. Everyone. You know. So with the, with the life trajectory thing, I've, I've learned, at least in my business, because I've struggled with this personally. Yeah. Um, one of the examples I gave Umams was myself. Ugutinam, I think there was a direction I was meant to go into. And then I got disturbed. My, my first big disturbance was uh, consciousness at varsity. I thought I was smart, dog, but when I got to varsity, I didn't know about like black consciousness and revolutionaries. Shape of I didn't know, like, I felt like a fucking idiot. Yeah, that means I don't know anything about politics and history. And they speak about Joseph Stalin and Mussolini and Mao and Steve Beagle and Marcus Garvey. Yo, and I was like, don't I, I actually don't know anything. So that disturbed me, obviously, because then I started getting on the black consciousness tip. Yeah. I got disturbed by religion because I thought I was Christian until obviously you start getting questioned and you find yourself asking, is religion the shit? That's good. Or you're, you're scared. Like, no, you're, you're scared. scared. And in my head, I wanted to be in advertising. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be an actor. I wanted to be a musician. And I wanted to be an artist. So I told myself, uh, I'm going to just spend four years in varsity, get my degree, uh, go become a CA, done, and then I can... Because fo- that's the, like... You know, and then you get disturbed and then life happens. Mm. Um, after that, the next one was uh, probably my, like jumping out of his mm. and then my business failure. And my business failure is what I want to speak about now. Like, uh, my business crashed in 2016. Mm. We're in 2021 now. That's five years later. Five. Yeah. Another person, so this is like an injury, like you get injured with rugby. Mm. Another person would be like, well, your business failed, um, start again. But what I had to learn in business is that, what I saw even with myself is a lot of guys struggle to let go of their failure. So I failed, but I didn't, I didn't close off the failure. Mm. I didn't say, oh, I failed. I don't know if you have to go to therapy or what and say it's, it's finished. Yeah. It's finished. Now I'm starting again. So that if, if I failed anyone, let's say an investor, someone that was a business partner, someone that liked my business, if anyone asks, I must tell them that thing is dead, mm. no matter how they feel. And I want to speak specifically about mm. which is something... Yo. Anyway, so you can start again and move forward. Mm. Banks and other formal institutions they they have like a process of how to like chase money for you mm. after they chase after you for their money and after a certain period they they stop and they say we're not getting this money back and they carry on with their lives when they carry on with their lives you're no longer blacklisted you can now go to the bank and get more money even though I work well mm. that's what allows you to keep going and it's what allows the banks to keep making money because if they wrote off everyone they'd never be able to give out loans but, but do, do you have a record there or it's clean, clean, clean? After five years, it has to be cleaned. That's the law. The credit bureau have to clean out your record after five years. You can owe 20 million. So I can borrow 500,000 500, now. Sure. And then not pay it for five years and then go borrow another five, 500k. Sure. Jesus. But they'll do everything, mind you. It's not easy. They're not just going to... They're going to send lawyers. They're going to try and get you in court. They want to try and see if you own any assets and try and attach your card. They want to try everything. Yes. But if you don't have any of those things and they've tried, they let it go. And at the credit bureau after five years, they have to wipe it off so that you can start again. Yeah. Mind you, when you're dealing with human beings, for example, like a chick can't break your heart. Mm. Cheat on you, sleep with your best friend, and then after five years, you wipe it clean. That thing haunts you like almost forever. Uh... If you're doing business with someone and Umchita steals 5,000 Rand of your money, you're going to hold on to that 5,000 Rand for 15 years, dog. And you'll always look at this guy. Now, Umchita, fair to 1998, 35,000. You don't realize it, but that stuff, like, it holds you back psychologically. And every time you're frustrated, Uban being good to your life, you think of all the people that owe you money. Instead of writing them off, we don't do that. And that stuff fucks you up in, in business. It completely, completely, completely fucks you up. And it's fucked me up because it's been five years. 
And I'm still dealing with the pains of that business failure. I still have people I owe from then who I still like, still speak to now and I still tell them, no, I'll pay you when I have money. When I'm... And the problem in business, mm. there's something called using good money to chase bad money. Mm. That means you go and gamble, you speak about sports betting. You make 5,000. Mm. After you make 5,000, uh, you gamble some more, then you lose it. Mm. Fuck. Then you're like, ah, let me ask Openwell to loan me five grand. I know I can get it back. Then you take my five grand. When you take my five grand, you, can, you lose it. Then you go and you get a job. And you take your job. That's good money. To go and try and pay back me and try and get back that five. Mm. So every little bit of money you're getting is now, yeah. you know. So what happens in business, if you owe a guy a million bucks and you've said my business failed. I crashed. I owe this guy a million. I've started a new business and my business is making me 10,000 rand a month. That 10,000 rand, you're meant to use it to build your new business. But if you're using it to pay this guy, your business will never grow. And if you look at how long it will take you with my 10th hour mm. to pay, it will take like 10 years. So you've taken good money and gotten it to chase bad money. And people don't understand why your business is not going anywhere. You know, so a lot of people struggle in business because they don't know how to like like your leg is rotten, mm. you you oh you miss your leg, you have to chop it off. We don't chop it off. We keep limping, mm. but you can't move, you can't run, you can't, you can't even get now a prosthetic leg because you're so focused on your rotten leg, you don't even appreciate your good leg anymore. So, mm. so. But I think sometimes you you dealing there's two there's two parties involved. Sure. Because now when a man thing can you and then you lose the money. Sure. And then fine, okay, you decide to move on if it's sure. damage failure or sure. what. There's another party in my that, that wants might their not want to move on. You know? Sure. Um so, there's that. Yeah, but from, from a business perspective, that one is that one is from a business perspective that, that one is sad because Especially Avanti Abamiyama, they don't know how business works. Mm. They don't know how to write off debt. They don't know how to be like... So, uh, part of the hypocrisy of Avanti Abamiyama and the schizophrenia is... Umti Abamiyama can put money in the lottery. Mm. Every week and lose it and it's fine. Mm. Um, Umti Abamiyama can invest in shares and they lose money. It's fine. But when they invest in something else or they loan someone and it goes bad, they don't, it's not fine. You know... Um, and at least for me, I think one of the lessons was like, you have to be upfront about failure. Mm. It's not nice, but I think once you've told someone that it doesn't get easy and it's not like once your new business is booming, mm. they're not going to be like, Pelando to some quiet. Mm. was like, yeah, but that was for the old business. This is a new business. Like, eh, hey, baba. Eh, hey, was The old business, I'm quiet. <laughs> but at least if you like do things like contracts and sign and say, look, you might fail, I might lose, and, and it's done. You know, and at least the smart guys will understand, look, I once lost 5,000 with this guy. He's got a new business that seems to be doing well. Mm. I'm going to invest another five. Because when a gent invests or, or buys you to be in a rugby team mm. and you play in a game and you guys lose, mm. the, the hope is that you tried your best and you lost. You can't shout and you'd be like, dog, you lost. Mm. But with business and money, that's exactly it. People are like, you cannot lose. Cannot. That's and most people lose. Manja guys that have a lot of money and have been investing for, they understand this. Mm. They'll give like 100 kids money mm. and know that 99 of, that 99 of those kids, are, they're never going to get the money back. And they don't mind. Mm. Normally, so the one will make them money. Normally what they do with the 99, <coughs> they want reports from all of you. Oh, 99, 100 of you, one of you won a rugby game. 99 lost. Mm. Tell me how you lost. Yeah. No, the thing is, you know, we woke up late. Yeah. We didn't go to practice our coach. Oh, so next time when you want to get money from me, I'm going to be like, how are you going to fix what you did last time? But I can give you the money because I know why you lost. Mm. Tina, we don't care. We just like, yeah, Antoine, the thing is, I'm going to make a play. No, I'm going to business. Because we don't understand that thing. But my point was, 
in, in, in the music business at least, Amachita could get stuck in this place where they thought, ah, and especially if you have a bit of success. I think success is like a very dangerous drug. Uh, which is probably why you should you should never focus on success and always focus on your goal. Which is one of the mistakes, one of the things we forget so easily. I'm trying to get married and have a stable family. Then you meet Usbongile. Then Usbongile becomes your life. She cheats on you. She gets pregnant from another nigger. And now your whole life is fucked. Now you've forgotten about I want to get married. Now you focus on Usbongile and she disrupts you. Now other chicks, good chicks, they like you. They want to... So if your goal was to I want to make good music for people. Now you're like, ah, it's here, I guess it's bumping. Ah, now we're fighting. Hey, now... Uh, our band is broken up. You're holding on to that trauma. You never go back to your vision of making good music. The guys who are focused on making good music, good or bad, the success, Aibashanis, you know, you look at someone like Beyonce, LeBron James, the Williams sisters, they look like, they weren't like, oh, you know, they were like, I need to go to practice every day. I need to do this. I need to do this. Sort it. Do you know we get, yo, Umchi Dapit doesn't get one selected by one selector. Doesn't make Vasti Cup. Doesn't make Curry Cup. Doesn't make Super Rack. Said Dubi. Donna, what were you trying to achieve? No, I want to be the best rugby player in the world. Sure, do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's select. That's just one team. Go find another team. Move to America. Move to Europe. Move to Japan. Yeah, dog. But you know, hey, fuck that. I'm like, yo, Donna, you're traumatized. If you hold on to this thing, it's going to for a while. The next guy's going to be like, this selector doesn't like me. He wants guys that bash and I'm not like that. Mm-hmm. Where can I go? Hey, there's a... Oh. She don't call me in Tolera if it's a move. Other people hold on to the trauma. And they, they go and they rewatch that coach and his team. And every time the team loses, like, yeah, we're lying. Mm-hmm. Donna, that's not going to get you anywhere. At all. So... So I was, I was, I was speaking to moms, like I said, because it's such a deep topic. Because I use myself as an example. Yeah. So... Sure. <laughs> make up. I got a No one's gonna see you, so it doesn't matter. How much is it? I'm going to say, 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 i they should have told us the truth, but they didn't. Um, you know what I think the biggest thing is with the whole thing you want to afford to move on from your fame? Sure. It's time, I think. Because, man, you know, more let's say, five years into something. Like, time invested. Yeah. And then you fail. You always feel like, hey, I have to go back there. I have to go back there. So you can't just move on. And now we want to occur in relationships. Sure. I mentioned to Uzo Shara and Domba Zan maybe for 10 years. Sure. It's about two hours. Uzo Ibura, it's magic. It's cards and bits. And the fear of having to invest another 10. Yes. Kalele Pants. People don't want to start off. You know. So I think that's another thing. So I was saying to Mamsi Fe to like, I look at my life and how aspects of my life are on pause because of failures. It's not something I speak about, but it's something I think about. You know, uh, other people are progressing. And going back to the GPS thing, it's like, this thing didn't work. Go back, go back to first year. Go back to matric. You're like, what? Go back. Like, it's going to be another five years. But in five years time, you'll be good. You want to make music? Go back and study music. Move to wherever. Go and don't try and, as time is ticking, Keep cheats trying to look for shortcuts. Because then you're definitely not going to make it. Definitely not going to make it. Um, so my life is on pause. And I was giving examples of people that she knows. So would you look at this guy. This guy was planning to be this in his life. And he got disturbed. And Yambona man is lost. And this guy, Kwaktiwa is going to be this. And you can see he's a bit lost. And this chick, she thought, yo. And she even got her honors in whatever. And she even went to work for her dream company. But then she was earning 6000 a month. And that was it. And she was getting shouted at. And she'd have, she'd have to work late nights. And she's like, this is not what I signed up for. And then she got miserable. And she got addicted to weed and wine. And bad relationships. 
had some miscarriages. Now can't have kids. Now she's just miserable. And now she's looking for shortcuts. Sefunuk toasa abi sango. Usefunuk tola like he plays a part. Useboli uvitigi. Like if she could go back and just clean up her life, just go back to the basics. Play, play. If you played hockey in school, play hockey. If you like being in the choir, don't go go find a choir and just sing and just sit in rehearsals and just oh yeah, oh yeah. just just go back to the basics. Go back home. And take him for a walk. Take him back. Take him for the mom and go to my zambang and just just press restart and refresh and be like, okay, today is day zero. Oh, I just walked out of my trip. What can I do now? And when you see like first years, you're like, hey, I'm one of you. Yeah, but you're 34. Yeah, yeah, there was a time lag. But I'm a first year. Yo, what's up? Was it bumping? Was it? And just go through it. Because it's, it's your journey. If you want to be looking at other niggas. It's going to fuck you up. Because someone told you when you were a kid, this is the journey. And you'll get everything. And I was explaining this. I don't know if it was to Pensi in Uti. It's Tine Talmage especially. We are all convinced, all of us, between age 25 and 30, we were all going to have houses. We were all going to have decent cars. Probably all going to be married, maybe like two kids. And then the really smart guys would be like rich. 30s, we're just moving into mansions, buying fancy cars. 40s, uh, traveling the world. And then when that, when that local kuzuga happens, it fucks you up completely. And you're sure. As time goes on, because you're holding on to this thing, by the time you look up, you're 33. And it's fucking scary. And kids are looking at you like, hey, you're old. Where's your house? She's like, oh, my mom, nah, it's really... You don't have a car. Yes, yes. Because they obviously been trained. <laughs> no, man. Hey, what's up? I don't know. I don't because those kids are currently being indoctrinated to believe that when you're 30, you know, you look at someone like who hey, someone like who Uman Pincha, Uman Pinchu, Anke, and you don't understand. And we never asked, well, at least I never asked, like, where did it go wrong? Because it went wrong. Because I know for a fact when you were a kid, this is not what you wanted. You can't tell me, no, I want to understand that kid, no one, no one. So I want to ask you from that, where did it go wrong? How did it go wrong? What were your lessons? Why are you still here? And listen to what they have to say. And, and be conscious of the fact that they, they're going to try and lie to you. And make excuses. No, but I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't Dog, it's 2021. 20,000 back then, if you divide it over these years, you, can, you could have made this money back a long time ago. But you're stuck in that. Yeah, well, you So, I, maybe that's why some people don't want to find healing in church. Some people go to church and church makes them feel like, you know, God has a season. And out in your pants. Some people move. About moving there, I think, is also underappreciated. Go, to Cape, go far away from the people that know you. Because I think the people that know you are part of the problem. Because they're always waiting. How fun? So is that man? When you go to Cape Town, no one knows who the fuck you are. Hey, what's up? Who are, who are you? you? Can tell them a new name. What are you about? You're like, hey, you know, I, I actually want to register UCT. Ah, oh, cool, dog. Done. So move. Go to a, like a new place where no one knows you. And like block out on Facebook. Don't accept friend requests from people that know you. Fucking block the fuck and just start again. Go to Lea Malinzima because I know a lot of people make bad financial mistakes and they haunt them for the rest of their lives because they're constantly taking good money to chase bad money and they never get out. Never. Ever. <coughs> get out. And then once you start using substances like Uchwala and stuff, uh, just goes off the rails. But we're, we're stuck. Like I feel like mentioning the names I told the moms. Cause I, but we're, we're stuck and I know we're stuck and I can see it and the danger the danger is we lie to people but I start hearing that it looks like guys are trying to lie to themselves no dog the thing is 
you know, if I just, and I'm like, I think this guy is starting to believe his lies. I think this guy is starting to believe his lies. And it's my issue with Otaki. Otaki are still living in the past, like apartheid. But that's in a sus name, come. Get the fuck out of here, dog. Yo. We don't want to accept. We lost. Write it off. Let clean, clean slate. How do we now rebuild? Okay, you know, I'm cool, cool, not I'm shower, out in Chalu, then spinach, out in the name cool. Now I plan, this is my new trajectory. trajectory. And then move from there. Out in where let's call it, I'm passing off on the history, I'm palometric. Meeting for the little about the hotel. Me about the hotel, 45. I don't know what, I don't know if this started as a dog. Fuck, your dog, sure. Weren't you? Can I change all of that? And the music, still a hobby, I still do it for fun. The film, I'm trying to, now that I'm a doctor, I, I get to pump. I've got these kids that understand my vision. So we meet once, twice a week, and they show me the work they've done. And I pump money in them. So, but I'm doing it fresher now because, like, I'm, I'm good. And if this doctor shit frustrates me after five years, I'll fucking cut it off and I'll learn how to fly airplanes. I'll enlist to pilot school because life is like 75 years. Mm. And the first 18 years are fucked because we don't have a choice. We're at school. Let's take it to 20. I've got 55, 55 years left. And we want to replicate the same dream life every year till we die. I want to be Lil Wayne on top of a stage in front of, for the next Ooh. 55 years. Are you not going to get bored, dog? Like, just plan for the next 10 years. We also don't set deadlines. I think that's the other mistake we make. Yeah. Set a deadline. If, not, if I'm not married, I ask a lot of girls, especially. Especially girls, because girls want to get married. And girls want to have kids. Nganya are 29. Kids, no kids. Why not? Now nah, I want to get married first. You really want kids? Yes, I really want kids. So what's your deadline? What happens if you're not married at 35? Will you then have a kid? No, I'll be married. Yes, but I'm just asking. No, it won't happen. I'm like, yo. That means you're going to get to 35, not married, and start getting frustrated. Mm -hmm. Then 40. By the time you're 43, you're angry. Now you hate men and stuff, all because you didn't set a deadline. If I don't achieve this by then, write it off, just like that. If I'm not doing this by then, write it off and be strict and hold yourself accountable. It didn't work. Done. How about done? It was looking like, no. Didn't it didn't work. I'm doing the next thing. And I'm going to put my everything in that next thing. And I move. I might come back to this thing because I invested a lot of time in it. Uh, same with the chick that you date. You date for 10 years. Like, it didn't work. Cut it off. It's tough. If you're struggling, speak to people, go for therapy, whatever. But like, I failed. Own it. Don't be like, no, I think she's going to come back. You know, I, no, I failed. I lost. If ever you've cleaned up your life and she comes back, you don't have to start from scratch. You can be like, hey, you know, we were together for 10 years. We can carry on building from that. And maybe just remove the last three years because let's take the first seven years and then pull on that. I remember you used to like this. You still like it and you change. Or if you meet another chick who's similar, you're like, hey, I've dealt with a chick who used to be like this and not like, I see. I mean, yeah. you know, we get stuck and life, life, life fucks us over and we but wake up just not safe. But you, you, you get the experience at least. Yeah. So. I don't think I, I, I explained like the depth of what I'm saying, but I think it's fucking deep because mm -hmm. there's a lot of zombies out there whose lives got disturbed by some type of failure or something else in their lives and they're still stuck and now they're stuck in a loop because of that trauma of the past because even now I, mean, I can relate to what you're telling me right now. yeah you get stuck in the loop and in the loop you start looking for shortcuts mm. and every shortcut fails and you start feeling like a proper failure mm -hmm. purely because you're still holding on to the trauma because you refuse to start from scratch learn the violin from scratch mm. and if someone's like I was with you're like yeah I just picked it up yesterday don't be like, nah, I've been listening to mute. Nah, I know nothing. Starting from scratch. I don't know anything. I'm going to start from scratch and be okay. We don't know how to reinvent ourselves. You know. But in us.